Can you hear that? That is your Shimano rear derailleur's clutch, telling you that it needs some service. But don't worry, it's a fairly simple and straightforward process that we're gonna walk through together today. So what we're hearing is a lack of grease between the roller bearing clutch and the band clutch. It needs to have friction to operate, but it also needs to slip smoothly, if that makes any sense. This is all fun, but let's get to the real fun part, which is fixing it. What the clutch does is it reduces chain, excessive chain slap, or chain whipping, and that also helps retain the chain onto the front chain ring. How this works is there is a sprag clutch in here that only goes one way. That's surrounded with a band clamp that allows for slipping. And what we're hearing is this band clamp, band clutch, slipping in here. You can see it's discolored. Let's take a look at this derailleur. We're gonna remove it so that it's easier for everybody to see. We're gonna need some tools. Two millimeter hex, four millimeter hex, and five millimeter hex. Some kind of prying tool like a pick or mini screwdriver, some HPG-1 grease, a rag and some alcohol, torque wrench, preferably a beam style, and an M4 bit. First thing we're gonna do is clean this whole thing. So, a little bit of alcohol, a rag, So notice, there's a small cap here. This small cap can remove that, and then, using this, you can actually adjust the derailleur's clutch. Push this two millimeter hex in there. But, in this case, we need to go further in and actually grease the clutch. So we need to take this cover off. Now, remove the cap. There's a seal around this whole thing, sitting in a gland. We're gonna pop this seal out. This is a seal around the outside of the cap. I like to remove that and clean it and clean in the gland, set it in a safe, in a safe place for now. So, now that we're in a little bit further, keep cleaning things. This is the clutch adjustment. What it does when the clutch is on is it puts more tension on this band. And when this band has more tension on it, it creates more friction down around this roller, this roller clutch or splag clutch. So what we're gonna do to take all this off is take, turn this off and with that, you can typically remove this clutch assembly. But sometimes it doesn't come off like this. So what we can do is go and do some little bit of a pry in action. Pry there, pry a little bit down here, and pop this entire clutch off. So notice, notice the orientation here. This block fits into this. This over this. I'm gonna set this here. I'm gonna take a look at this. Over here. You can see this, this grease is discolored. It normally would be white. So, it's all roasted. and been heated up too much. Now, we can service our clutch. We're gonna take this off, set that over here in a safe spot. We've got this. We can do with our pick, put that in there, you can slide the clutch out. So with that clutch out, you can see these little bands, these little guys here. 
Was it full of grease? But we're gonna clean all this off. Inside the band. Now that the band and the clutch are clean, we're gonna be applying HPG around the clutch and a little bit inside the band. But we don't want any to get inside of the roller bearing clutch. Fairly small amount. This small short side should go towards the bottom. So this is gonna sit like this. This is gonna sit inside there. And we're gonna be good to go. So what I'm gonna do in the, for myself is I like to use the pick. I'm gonna wedge this in here. To try and pry this apart. Got these pried apart. And so remember, this small one is facing down. So I'm gonna put this together as this is sitting, which is just like this. This, is, this side is facing up. This is what the other side looks like. Facing up. Now I'm gonna just slip this over here. Got that in there. Now we can reinstall this here, like so. Make sure your clutch is in the off position like we had it. Now line this square up. So this is going here. This square has to go here. So we push that on there. Make sure those line up. That. Now, push this straight down. And now, we're ready to make the tension adjustment for our clutch. I find it easier to make this adjustment when the derailleur is on the bike. So, we're gonna reinstall it. To make this tension adjustment, I'm gonna spin, there's an M4 inside the clutch here. And basically to test how much tension's on it, you turn it like so. You can see the clutch moving. You can also do that with the cover on with a T27 on the back side with the Torx. So we're gonna turn our clutch to the on position. And what we're gonna do, put our M4 on our wrench here. And what we're looking for is, I'm bringing this cage all the way through its action. And I'm looking at how much tension that entire action takes up. The torque spec for this, we'll call it a torque spec, we'll call it, actually it's more of a tension spec, is anywhere from three and a half Newton meters to about five and a half Newton meters. And as we can tell, it gets greater through its action. So it starts out, we're at, you know, five, six, hits a little hiccup there, gets to seven, and we're at eight all the way on the front end. It's a little too tight. We're gonna take a little bit of that tension off of here by loosening this two millimeter hex. Loosen it about one quarter turn. Another quarter turn. The high end is right around that five and a half Newton meter. Could be a little bit closer to six. But I think we're a lot better than we were before. It's a lot smoother action. Uh, I also wanna make note of the grease. We used our high performance grease. The reason we used our high performance grease 
is for temperature. A high performance grease works better at higher temperatures. So it's about a 450 degrees, it'll still be working properly. Uh, and that's a crucial part of this. As this is used through a ride, you're hitting lots of bumps, you're pedaling a lot, you're shifting a lot, it can make the temperature in here get very, very hot. So you need a grease that can put up with that heat. So we're using Park Tools HPG1. Now we're ready to reassemble the, the cover, put this bike back together, and get it back to its rider. I'm gonna take our seal. Man, that is so much smoother. This is how it should be working. You're gonna feel the smoothness in your shifter, you're gonna feel it in your pedals, it's gonna be a lot smoother for your rear suspension, it's gonna have to work a little bit less, it's just a lot better. So, monitor this as a potential issue for you at home. If you're having that issue, either do the service yourself and follow our instruction guide, bring it to a local shop, something, just make sure to keep this under control. And on that note, thanks for joining us, and I hope you have a clutch day.